In this video, I am going to tell you about our first indigenous aircraft carrier, Inus Vikram. I did lot of efforts to gather this information, so please like, share, and subscribe my YouTube channel. INS Vikrant is an aircraft carrier constructed by the Cochin Shipyard Limited at Kerala for the Indian Navy. It is named Vikrant as a tribute to India's first aircraft carrier INS Vikrant. Two ships operated by the Indian Navy have had the same name INS Vikrant. Friends, now let's see facts about Vikrant. INS Vikram 1961 as India's first aircraft carrier held a glorious place in the heart of every Indian and was called national pride. It was a second hand carrier built for British Royal Navy. Then the UK Royal Navy sold it to India in 1957. After World War II the construction of HMS Hercules was stopped resulting in its sale to India in an incomplete condition. Four years of refitting in Harland and Wolfyard in Belfast, Ireland gave rise to INS Vikram. Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, the first Prime Minister of India, commissioned the carrier in the Navy at Bombay Harbour on November 3, 1961. It was 192 meter long and had a 20,000 ton displacement with a highest speed of 46 km per hour. The INS Vikram played a major role in India's victory in 1971 war with Pakistan. It helped to suppress the ground movements and resupply the Pakistani army in the east by blockading East Pakistan, now Bangladesh as a whole. In its later years, the ship underwent major refits to embark modern aircraft before being decommissioned in January 1997. Inus Vikram 1961 a British built aircraft carrier which was in service from 1961 to 1997 was operated as a museum ship from 2002 to 2012 and was scrapped in 2014 to 2015 Reportedly Bajaj used the metal of Inus Vikram to manufacture Bajaj V in 2015 and after On 2nd September 2022 the Indian Navy received its first indigenous built aircraft carrier after a long wait of 13 years. It is a 262 meter long length with a top speed of 52 km per hour and endurance of 7500 nautical miles. The ship has 2300 compartments manned by 1700 seamen. It has two football field size flight decks, 8 kilometers of corridors and 8 generators capable of lighting up a city of 2 million people. It was designed by Warship Design Bureau and manufactured by Cochin Shipyard Limited under the Ministry of Ports, Shipping and Waterway. The 262 meter long carrier can carry 30 aircraft including MIG 29K fighter jets, Kamo 31 and MH60R multi role helicopters. Additionally, it can also accommodate advanced light helicopters and light combat aircraft of India. Fighter jets are launched using the short take off but arrested recovery method. It will have 3 arrester wires. Steel Authority of India Limited produced 26000 tons of warship grade steel for INS Vikrant in collaboration with the Defence Research and Development Organisation Friends it's a pride to know that my great grandfather Sri Chettupalli Narasimha have worked in DRDO I'll be sharing a video about DRDO very soon Now coming back to our video the Indian Navy may choose between Boeing FA-18 EF Super Hornet and Dassault Rafale M to operate on its carriers The name Vikrant means courageous in Sanskrit It means I defeat those who fight against me Friends isn't INS Vikrant India's newest and most powerful ship 
it is the most potent weapon of navy because it has the capacity to operate at a very large distance now india comes under the elite nations where it owns its giant power ship this initiative is a historical achievement for india's development thank you for watching let me come back to you with many more interesting videos jai hind